I think a good sociologist is the kind of person who looks through keyholes and reads other people's mail. I discovered sociology by mistake. What mainly drew me in was the endless curiosity about what makes people tick. And that apparently goes back to my early childhood. I must have been about five years old and I got in a wonderful electric train. I never turned on the electricity. I lay on my belly and talked to imaginary people in the train. Well, I've done that ever since. I've always been interested in religion, so focusing on the sociology of religion was a natural way to go. When I started out as a sociologist, most people believe that modernity leads to secularization. It doesn't. It creates many different options for worldviews, values, including religious values. Relativism and fundamentalism they are seemingly opposite, but they are very similar. They are attempts to regain certainty. The relativist who says there is no truth, everything goes, is no longer full of anxiety. The fundamentalist thinks he knows what is the truth. And that's not some mysterious development. It can be sociologically explained by the structures of modern society. The book which I've become best known for is The Social Construction of Reality. And that became our redefinition of sociology of knowledge. It's not just theoreticians who are interesting to analyze in terms of their social context, but everybody. Some said that after they read the book, they saw the world differently. And I can understand that. I saw the world differently once these ideas became clear to me.